guys, I'm Gabriel Roberts from Roberts Witchcraft, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the North Face Extreme Cold Weather Tent, Full Man Marine Comet. Alright, today I got a special guest coming in, if you guess if you will come in. My dad, Curry Roberts, uh, he, like I said, he was trying to make a Bushcraft channel, and he said, why not just put it on Roberts Witchcraft? Okay, we're going to uh, go through the process of setting the tent up and uh, we'll time it. See how long it takes? Yeah. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to begin by setting up the main body. As with all aluminum tent poles, you want to be very careful not to let the tent poles snap together. It'll bust the casing and end up ruining your tent. So as you're putting your poles together, gently guide them in and let the elastic do its magic. The extreme cold weather tent manufactured by the North Face was designed to be used by combat troops in extreme cold and other weather conditions. North Face spared no expense in building this high quality, mobile, flexible nylon military shelter. This versatile, semi-geodesic, dome-shaped tent is ready for five plus persons, four with full combat gear, and is extremely roomy for two people. This amazing shelter provides rain protection and weather insulation and will withstand high winds and heavy snow. The expedition quality construction is geared toward extreme weather conditions and meets the military's requirements that the tent be operable from negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit to 120 degrees Fahrenheit and withstand 65 mile per hour wind gusts as well as repel wind driven rain at 2 inches per hour with 20 mile per hour wind. The required snow load capability is a minimum of 4 pounds per square foot. North Face says that properly staked, these tents can withstand a 107 mile per hour gust. Complete set weighs in at about 38 pounds. In its mission transport configuration, which consists of the tent body, fly, and poles, it weighs in at less than 21 and a half pounds. So it's kind of forming now, right? North Face has been a part of nearly every important extreme adventure and expedition since its founding in 1969 due to its superior technology with results from cutting edge research, design and development. The extreme cold weather system is a multi-soldier, four season, tensioned, pole supported, freestanding shelter with 64 square feet of floor space and an interior height of five feet one inch. Main tent body has integrated pole sleeves and is geodome shaped. In the mission transport configuration, which consists of the tent body, fly, and poles, the tent weight is less than 21 and a half pounds and the transport cube is less than 1.6 cubic feet.
There are two full-size weather flies with vestibules, one woodland camouflage fly and the other an arctic fly. Typically, they are both blackout coated on their underside to prevent flashlights used inside the tent from being seen from outside the tent. The tent is beginning to take shape and we'll continue to add more poles. Each fly provides an additional 30 square feet of vestibule area. This system can also be used in warm weather or the fly sheet can make a great tent shelter by itself. The tent is manufactured with heavy-duty nylon rust-proof YKK zippers, a full-size zipper door, and most come with an extreme cold entrance and cooking stove hole that senses shut when not needed. The full floor is completely waterproof. Lightweight, multi-sectioned, shock cord interconnected Easton 7075-T9 aluminum alloy poles as specified and required by the U.S. Army and United States Marine Corps for all portable shelters. The eastern poles support expeditions around the world, being the pole of choice when tent success or failure may mean the difference between a life or death outcome. completely set up main tent body. The main tent body is made out of 70D ripstop nylon, uh, complete with no seam uh, bug mesh, made by North Face. Uh, you have two entrance and exit holes. We'll show you uh, a little closer detail in just a moment. Uh, get in, get out of the tent. Uh, it also has the uh, no seam bug mesh uh, covering both entrances. You also have an entrance and exit uh, here in the floor. You can also use it for cooking. However, these tents weren't designed uh, to cook in. It even says in the instructions not to cook inside this tent. Uh, but we'll go ahead and put the fly together and show you what that looks like. All right, guys, my dad is out there. You might be able to see him through the uh, see right here. he's putting up the fly right now so if you see anything weird ghostly looking you know who it is uh and i'm just gonna be in the tent right now showing you what i'm talking about like how many pockets it has uh the escape windows the windows windows whatever the uh, gear loft up there yeah so we're gonna talk about all of it like i said don't think it's a good uh one, two, three pocket, three, 
one, two, three. So that's six. And then another three. So nine. Nine pockets in the whole tent. We we still have light. Uh the gear loft is kinda harder to see now because he just threw the rain on. But gear loft, as you can see through that mesh, uh the Damn, not looking down. Do you see that gear mesh? Now, let's take a big old dog. It basically takes up the whole top of the inside of the tent. It's for extra gear. Like, my, for example, now that's a little too heavy. Uh, Crocs. I got my Crocs out there. I could put those up there, which I wouldn't, but I could put those up there, get them out of my way, you know, so nothing's really hanging down. And this tent and the MMSS put together would be like an extreme, extreme, extreme cold weather, all season tent. Because it already is all season tent. And you know, stay in here. You can surely spend the night in here. I have had many, many nights in there. My dad, he's surely had a lot of nights in there. Four years of it, actually. Uh, yeah. Now, the uh, windows. You can see windows on both sides. Has... Kind of hard because I'm doing this one handed. Well, you can just, you know, pull these open. Do there, you know, crawl out, do whatever, rain fly, woodland camera. Love it. Uh, we're expecting some pretty bad weather to come in, so we're just throwing on the rain fly. You know, why not? Even when we don't expect nothing bad to come in, we still usually put the rain on. And of course, you can see the design. Let's let it focus. See the squares in it. It's kind of a cool pattern that they made. Uh, see, this is the uh, rain fly getting all put up. I'm kidding. But you got a nice little space out here. You can fit two more people out here. If you really needed to. The escape hole is for when you're in the snow. A lot of people think it's for when you gotta pee, you gotta take a dump or something like that. It's really not for that. Like my dad said earlier in the video, it could be used for cooking, but it's really used as an escape entrance. Because he said all the time when they were in the snow in the mines, the you would dig a tunnel tunnel under it so you didn't have to open the main part of the tent and get it all cold inside. So all you do is you just crawl through here, crawl through the snow, get up, out, and do whatever. So that's about the end of the inside. Uh, stay tuned. When the rain fly comes back up, all the way up, we'll show you everything. All right, so we're getting about to do a walk around of the tent. Uh, it has this rain fly on. You wanna look at it? Quick view at it. Uh, of course, this house is all right here. Uh, just to make it extra strong, you know, when you take it down, make it real tight. Go ahead and walk around. Like I said, wooden and camo pattern. Pretty nice. It's totally waterproof. Notice I know it's not bullshit. It's good. When my uh, uh, rabbit comes back up here, you can tell it's what the rain fly made out of it. I don't know. It's good. <laughs> Some more guide. Guide, uh, down the road. Guide tie down. Whatever you want to say. So it's a hard to know. <laughs>
good. We're getting ready to go inside the tent. It's good. So now we're in the tent. This is my MMSS. I'm going to be setting it up. Uh, it has a Gore-Tex baby sack that goes around it. It has an uh, extreme cold weather bag. It's black. And then it has a patrol bag. Anywhere from 50 degrees or 30 degrees, I meant, down to about 50. And it's a pretty good bag. It's very lightweight. This whole system, I would say, weighs about seven to eight pounds. It's not that heavy. Uh, seven to eight pounds isn't a lot at all. A stuff sack that it comes with, tightening straps, spaghetti straps. You can pull it down to 12 inches width and so, right, yeah, 12 inches width and 12 inches length. About that size, it's kind of hard to get it down. That size, you would have to really work hard to get it down. But let's go ahead and uh, open it up. So, it has some drawstrings right here. This one, this particular stuff sack doesn't have the lid. Pull the drawstring, open it up. You can see already the Gore-Tex baby sack. Right there. I'm going to go ahead and back up. <laughs> so how you get this out is you can either pull it out or pull this thing out. I like pulling it out. Well, I kind of do a mixture of both. And grab the bottom. <laughs> Going a little crazy in here. I'll show you all the bags once I get it open. You can really, really get this thing stuffed in here good. That's why it's taking so long to get it. Now, this same stuff set we got for about, never mind, but we use the same one for our tent. We don't, you know, we use the same one for our tent. Do we think it's a little better? Let's see if you can compress this thing. Gosh, everything is getting caught on my knife today. <laughs> Lay it out. I guess I'll lay it out this way. It'll be easier to open and show you. Now it does have button snaps on the zippers. I'm going to take all those off so I can open it up. Of course, now I'm not going to unbutton every single little button on here to snap all the sleeping bags together because I don't really want to take... Oh, never mind. Yeah, it doesn't come apart. Stop. <laughs> Go ahead and open this up. You can see it's already looking pretty sexy. Guess you'd say. The green bag goes over the black bag. And the Gore-Tex Vivi goes over all the bags. I like my personal favorite bag is the whole system. <laughs> so... Like I said, black, green, and uh, we'll take this. Now, open it all up. And okay, I'm getting my call in. But before I do, please let me take my belt off. Put it up here in the gear mesh. Get out of my way. See, already are used for the gear mesh. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and crawl in this thing. This is a beast mode system. Gore-Tex, so this is basically like your emergency shelter. So, like I said, how this ripstop nylon is, we're in the tent just then, so. Uh, this ripstop nylon isn't completely waterproof, so if you had to, and one of your, you had a lot, a lot of people, or a little bit of people, good amount, put them in that rain fly, you can stay in here with your MSF, and you'll be pretty nice and cozy. Now, like I said, I'm not going to take all the bags out because I really don't feel like doing it. <laughs> all right, so let me duck my head in these nice old uh, hood 
Ừ. 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 Okay, now we're gonna take the rainfall off and show you how you can use it as an additional shelter. Okay, now we have the rainfly off and like I said, it's additional shelter now. So you can call in here, waterproof of course, tie your guidelines down, stake it out, it's all good, you know? All right, so we're back inside the tent. Uh, like I said, well, I'm getting my say. The three pockets at the back, you can see one, two, three. It's awesome, I'm trying to watch. 415, 416, sorry. There's three pockets right there, so that's six, nine. Nine pockets, plus the gear mesh up there. I have my belt and my knives all up there. And I have them assist in there. Beast mode tent. And, well, beast mode tent and sleeping bags. Like I said, gear mesh. Uh, windows. These windows have drawstrings. So if somebody ugly shows at the camp, you can just grab these things and get out of my window. I'm just kidding. You know, so you can, you can get in and out of these. These are escape holes, I guess, went slash windows. Some mesh. You can see the mesh like it is up there. Ripstop nylon. You can see the pattern. This is kind of worn out because my dad's had it for a long time. And me, I've had it for a long time, too. Uh, you can tighten it up up there. You can see them buckles. And one tank of a tent, guys. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay, so this is a tank of a tent. Like I said, you would have like a crazy, crazy, crazy shelter if you had the tent, the rainfall, all the poles, all the tent stakes, the MMSS, the full MMSS, the patrol bag, the extreme cold weather bag, and the Gore-Tex bivy. The gear mesh, you had everything right, the nine pockets, everything. You would be able to survive the end of the world. Probably. So this is a tank of a tent. And get you through any situation. Raining, snowing, drizzling, pouring down as hard as you can imagine. Ice falling out of the sky. It's perfect. Oh, see you later. It's time to take a minute. Alright, we're going ahead and getting on out of it.